In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I like to sharpen and clean up my image. So here's the before, this is the after. And I use this method on all of my design. So as you can see here, I used it in this design, this one, and this one. So basically everything I do. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I will be using my Photoshop Action. If you want to download it, I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you do download it, it will help out this channel. If not, I'm going to show you a free way towards the end, so wait for that. All right, so let's go ahead and make a copy. I'm going to do Control J. I'm going to name this Sharpen. Now let's go to your action. And if you don't see the action, you just go to Window. Make sure that's checked. And once you download the action and double click it, it should automatically install in Photoshop. And you can see here, Noise Photoshop Action. So I like to use Sharpen Low. Depending on your image, you might want to use Medium or High. But 90% of the time, I use Sharpen Low. So I'm going to select that. Click on Play one time, two time. Now I'm going to make a copy again. So I'm going to do Control J. And I'm going to name this Smooth. This one will be cleaning up the skin. So I'm going to go down here, select Smooth, click on Play one time, two time. Now let's go ahead and change the opacity to 50. And let's go ahead and select the mask. Select the mask here. Do Control i to invert it. Now we're going to brush in the parts that we want to clean up. So I'm going to select B for brush. And make sure this is white. And go ahead and select the mask. And I'm just going to brush it in. Kind of like that. So any parts that we want to clean up, brush that in. And I'm going to bring the size of the brush down. Kind of like that. All right, now let's go to our action again. Last thing we want to add is the gray noise. I'm going to select that. Click on play. Now when you zoom in, you can see um, the noise layer right here. So this is the before, after. So I like adding the noise layer just to uh, kind of blend everything in. All right, so now I'm going to show you without using the Photoshop action. So I'm just going to delete all this. And let's go ahead and zoom back out. So same process. I'm going to make a copy. Control J. Let's name that Sharpen. Now let's go to Filter. Select the Camera Raw Filter. And let's go down here to the, where is it, detail, actually the effect. And you want to add the texture, clarity. It's kind of like that. Click OK. Now let's make a copy. Name that smooth. Same thing. Select the camera raw filter. Now this time, we're going to go to the Clarity, actually, it's Detail, Noise Reduction, click OK, and if you select Filter, Camera Raw Filter, it will add these, um, the last setting you did, or the last, um, the last one you did. Same thing, change that to 50, select the mask. Invert that, B for brush, brush in the parts that we want. All right, so now let's go ahead and create a new layer. Let's add the noise, and this time it's going to be gray. So it will be 127, 127, 127. Click OK, fill that in. I'll Backspace, let's go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and let's do about, say about 7, click OK, and change that to Soft Light, alright, so that's too much, I don't think it was 7, alright, that's why I like um, creating my action, because I have all the setting there, I'm going to click on Do, so Filter, let's see Noise, Add Noise, I think it's three. Click OK. Change that to soft light. And let's go ahead and make a copy. And maybe bring this lower. Again, yeah, much easier for me to use the action, much faster. But, you know, if you can't download it, you know, this is the way to do it. 
but so that should be good let me see so that's the before after now if you want to sharpen it again go down to sharpen filter camera raw filter let me see where's the uh effect add just a little bit more click ok all right so before after so this is how I like to sharpen all my image and clean up the skin. Again, if you do decide to uh, purchase and download the Photoshop Action, I want to say thank you. You know, help out the channel and everything. And um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And I'm going to see you guys next time.